It's your boy Matt Turner back again with another video and this one is one that you guys have been waiting for for quite some time. It is my was it worth it or not Transthetic joystick review. So for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I did a unboxing video. I will post a little bloop bloop up there so you guys can see what I'm talking about and you can go and watch it yourself. I think it's a pretty quick video, but basically I just unboxed um, the joystick. It was the seven inch, uh, I believe dark is the color I got, um, joystick from Transthetic, um, and I just showed you, showed you how it came. It just comes in a very discreet package, everything like that. Um, my first reactions on it, and um, kind of like what it comes with. Uh, it was an unboxing video. You, if you don't know what an unboxing video is, go watch the video and then you'll know. <laughs> but, um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button because this is going to be great and you are going to enjoy this and you're going to find out some cool information, I'm hoping. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, anyways, just real quick, disclaimer, because I have been forgetting to do that in all of my was it worth it or not videos. This is for educational purposes. This is not for some weird thing, so I don't get demonetized. Um, please only use this for educational purposes. There will be uh, explicit images of dicks and such. Um, but again, they are for educational purposes. I don't know how many times I can say educational purposes, but this is for educational purposes. Um, now, anyways, um, so for some of you who do not know, I am actually part of the partnered affiliate program with Transthetic. So that means that for every um, every time you guys use my referral links, which you can find in the description box below, I get I think ten percent um, of the co a ten percent commission of your orders overall after a month. Um, so that's cool. I haven't gotten anything so far. That's perfectly a-okay. It's not like you guys are getting a discount from using my referral anyways. Um, but, so when I did that, I did get a response. Um, the uh, owner, I believe, of Transthetics, I think that's who this is, or at least the administrative person for Transthetics, Alex, he responded and he gave me a few things to clear up in this video. So I am really happy to clear that up for you guys. So for some of you who have seen my video, my unboxing video, I told you that um, the girth of the Transthetics, here it is right here, is rather large. Um, and he uh, let me know that the six inch version has a smaller girth. So if you like that or want a smaller girth, such as I did, you can go check that out. I do not think though there is a seven inch length with a smaller girth for obvious reasons, as you guys have commented below that this is in fact modeled as I'm sure it is modeled after a actual guy's dick. Um, but yes, there's that. Um, I believe that's it. Let's just get straight into it. I mean, let's get into it. Right off the back, website interface. The website interface of Transthetic is navigationable. Um, it's obviously nothing crazy. It's not like the Union Medico website where like just looking at it kind of confuses you because there's so many words on the screen. If I had to put it anywhere between my product reviews, I would put it somewhere between um, I would actually put it at the end of the spectrum, so it would be like Union Medico is over here and um, King Butterlove is like over here and 
Transthetics would be like right over here. Closer to Union Medico, but not exactly quite so close. It's clean, it's not like it's gonna give you some kind of crazy, mind-boggling frustration navigating it. It's a normal website. So, four out of five stars on that, <laughs> personally, in my opinion. Um, in terms of packaging and shipping, some of you guys asked about that in my last video. Um, for the unboxing, it ships within a standard time, so the standard shipping, three to five business days, so it's very, very quick, which makes sense because it's not like um, Real Magic where they are, well, they might be, but from my understanding, it's not like Real Magic where they are like literally molding and hand crafting and hand painting all of your stuff like right then and there. Um, it's like a standard standard look um, so yes very discreet packaging you can go check out my unboxing video for that um, so overall in terms of uh, packaging and shipping five out of five I loved it I loved all the stuff they give me um, they give you a very in-depth instruction on how to maintain how to use harness all of that they even give you the YouTube link on how to make a harness um, for the uh, joystick. Wow, that is a big B. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, definitely five out of five. It comes with like a nice, hold on, let me go get it. It comes with these nice baggies that you can store them in, so that's amazing. Absolutely love that. That they, in terms of packaging and shipping, by far, Transthetics is top notch. Um, I put them well, well, well above real magic and that's a lot because i really really like real magic like after being with my real magic packer for a while i love real magic but transthetic definitely beats them in packaging and shipping now quality um quality this is where i finally get to bring it out <laughs> quality is um there it's not like some crazy, as I said, this is modeled after um, <clears throat> uh, a real man's dick, so there's that. So it's not like it's going to be an insane quality, um, but this is what it looks like. I'll show you again, it does have ridges, it does have veins. It has all of the basic requirements that you could want and still look good and decent and like not like just rubber. Um, so there is that. Um, I will be right back. I will actually go get my real magic so you guys can see side by side the difference in comparison. So here it is, here's the comparison. So as you can see, um, this is the real magic. This is what the real magic looks like, detail and stuff of that nature. Um, you can go check out that video. Um, and then this is the joystick. Now when you put them side by side, it's kind of like not fair to be quite honest, um, but they are serving, they are serving different purposes. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, for those of you who want to know, I have the 5 inch uh, STP Real Magic um, circumcised. Uh, so the other thing that I really, really liked about the joystick that was absolutely amazing once I started being able to use it and things of that nature is um, the Vibe Braider can actually be turned on and like the modes can be changed through this so it's not like you put it in and you have to like you know pull it out and press the vibrator and remote and all that kind of crazy fun jazz you can actually change it through this um just by like pressing down this is thin enough that you can do it which i absolutely loved because then it doesn't take you like out of the moment and things of that nature um, when it comes to the harness, I made my own harness because I wasn't about to drop any more money, personally speaking. Um, <clears throat> so if you're going to uh, use this for penetration, 
you need a very, very, very tight harness. Um, not like blood circulation cutting off type, but it does need to be able to be held firmly in place. And and if you don't if you don't have sewing skills, I would say doing a DIY harness is not going to be as tight as you need it. Which is why I would recommend just buying the actual harness. I haven't used the actual harness. I can't tell you how tight it's going to be, but it's definitely probably maybe going to work better than a DIY harness. Um, <laughs> I can do a video on show you guys how I did the DIY harness. It's not hard, um, but it is a little bit more difficult if you don't have a sewing machine. Thankfully, my mother has one, and I just kind of like quickly whoop whooped in there and like did it <laughs> um <laughs> while they were gone one day so it doesn't take long to make a harness either but it definitely can get tricky because you have to sew through elastic um and to you have to so what i did is i sewed the elastic together and then i sewed the elastic into um a pair of briefs that i liked um so that was the other thing they recommend using like briefs like hanes like the ones where your thighs are out and i use boxer briefs so there was that as well so i'm sure that factored in some um so there's that um next post edit i don't know why it didn't occur to me to just do this but um these are the briefs that i use um so as you can see they're just like normal briefs and i got these from h m um if you know me in real life or just online you know that i highly rep h m and i highly rep adidas um so the, yeah these are most definitely h m i love the feel of them they're nice they're soft um and yeah and you can see when it is a I, how I basically did it is right here. Right here, I measured where I was going to need to sew in the um, loop for the harness that attaches to the vibrator head. I, I put a little Sharpie pin right there, and you can see actually, again, right next to it, hopefully, let me focus. You can see right next to it, that little green bit is the actual loop. So, as you can see, the harness is not very secure. When I first did it, this was very, 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 very secure, but it does not last very long. Um, so that is one thing that you are going to have to make sure. So my recommendation, if you do make a DIY harness, sew the hell out of that loop into whatever pair of briefs that you're using because you want that to last as long as possible. Um, this is basically only good for like solo play now, to be quite frank. Um, and post edit. But let's get to packing. So in terms of packing, this is seven inches. I would not pack with this, like ever. Um, <laughs> so that's not to say that the joystick is not good for packing, just simply that the seven inch is not ideal for packing. And the videos, um, and some of the transthetic uh, demonstration videos, they show, I think, a smaller size and it looks great packing. The seven inch, however, I do not believe is going to work very well. Um, unless you want to walk around with a boner to be quite frank and like the tip of your dick at just like hanging out like it's not it's not gonna work um <laughs> but overall quality 4.5 stars um so there's that De so one thing i forgot um solo play with this together is great if that's what you're using it for diy harness the heck out of it use buy the harness either way i think solo play with the joystick is absolutely amazing once you kind of figure out the kinks and how to use it there's no problem 10 out of 10 especially if you're like wearing a shirt you can't you it, there's nothing that's taking you out of that moment that's all i'm gonna say <laughs>
One thing I forgot to mention, actually, um, <laughs> post-edit. So in terms of color, which was kind of basically the entire point of me doing these series for other people of color, trans people of color, um, so the color is, they only have a, a few options when it comes to color, which sucks, of course, but it makes it very easy to accept the fact that you are not going to find a color that's going to exactly match your skin tone. So for me, that it was like not a problem. In fact, when, once you like don't see that it like just ends, let me get it back out. Once you see that it just like doesn't end like right here, like you have it hooked up into a harness and everything like that, it's it's whatever. Um, it definitely doesn't take away from the moment. I like the color. Um, per personally, I kind of lucked out that the color is kind of actually really close to me. Um, so yeah, that, that's my opinion in terms of color variety and such. Um, again, I got the dark. I believe that is it. Um, let me know if you guys like this video. If you have any questions, uh, link, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm sure I have left something out because I always leave something out. <laughs> like the video, share it with somebody. Um, and just as a reminder, this is the Transthetic Joystick 7 inch dark. I got the darkest one. Um, so this is great. Um, it actually does match my skin tone pretty well. Outside of the fact that it doesn't have like a fleshy look to it, I would say like this is as close as I'm going to get. Um, so there is that. Great job with that, Transthetics. Um, and I have seen different, on their website, different vibes. Um, so there is that as well. Overall, very good. Uh, comment. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so you can stay up to date on when I post videos. If there are any other products that you guys want me to review, let me know in the comment section. As long as it's not hella expensive, because to be quite frank, I don't like need a lot of stuff. I'm not into like collecting dicks. Um, <laughs> So there's that. If I did do that, I would probably buy it and I'd give it away. So there's that. <laughs> um, so yes, it is your boy, Matt Turner. I hope you guys have an amazing evening, day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you guys next time.